guys, it's Bernadette, and I just wanted to show you another organization idea that I utilize in my craft room. I The other day when I made my room tour video, I forgot to show this, so here it is. This is this card is made by Totally Tiffany, and it has three drawers that pull completely out. Now, I am filming, so I'm only using one hand to do this. So if they look a little wobbly, that's why. But they are not wobbly whatsoever. They're very sturdy. Feels like they're made out of um, some kind of metal. And the drawers come out individually, completely, and they are fabulous. Um, the third drawer that I have here on the bottom is my washi tape and some extra things that I didn't know um, where to put. So a little bit of hodgepodge on that bottom drawer. Uh, and then these that I have hanging off, I purchased these at Ikea and they're very, very inexpensive. They hang off this cart perfectly and I could actually fit three of them, three of them per drawer. So I could actually get nine on there. Um, for me, that might be a little bit too cumbersome because when I want to pull a drawer out to use it, um, I don't want to have to rearrange all the little containers that are hanging off, but it would work. Technically, it would work. Um, yeah, so I have in this one all my gel pens. I have markers in this one. The top drawer, I have um, crayons and distress crayons, my baby wipes, watercolors, and my daubers or sponges that I use for my journal pages, and my Jane Davenport layer cake paints in the back there because they're a little bit larger, so they fit perfectly back there. The second drawer has the Dilutions paint in there. And then you can see here on the side, I actually have some of the newer versions of the bottles, the containers, and those fit perfectly as well. This does come with an apron bear with me here. I'm going to try to turn it around with one hand. There we go. It comes with this purple apron and this purple apron has places here like for markers or skinny, long skinny items. I don't use it for that. As you can see, it has a huge pocket on the side and I put this large Xyron tape runner on the side. And then I have down here just some trash bags in case I make a mess, I have them handy. And then down here is the memory maker tag creator there. I have some inexpensive acrylic paint. This is some glue and I have pencils in here. This is actually I thought it was so cute, but it's actually uh, came with some makeup that I purchased a couple of years ago, but I thought it looks perfect here. It's a big, big eraser. So anyway, I have that filled with some pencils in case I want to do some art on the go. I have them ready. And then I have my brayer sticking out right there. Once again, bear with me here, trying to turn this with one hand on carpets, not so easy. Um, I have vinyl for my silhouette, uh, extra vinyl. And then on the bottom here, I have the Crafter's Companion. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's made by Crafter's Companion and it makes envelopes and boxes and all sorts of awesome things. Uh, and that is kind of big and cumbersome, but it fits perfectly in that pocket because it had this apron comes with three pockets. I don't utilize the second one because this is so big and bulky. 
Um, and then on the other side, hold on, I'm gonna set you down for a second here. There we go. On the other side, I have a, a lint roller that I got at the dollar store. And this is really, really good to use when you are using your die cutting machine. It picks up those little bits and pieces of paper. Great. Um, I have some extra plates for my Gemini Go. And I have my deluxe flower shaper kit on the bottom which is kind of chunky so it takes up quite a bit of room and then on the side i have another huge huge pocket that i don't really utilize i i i use it sometimes and then um i move things around so often that i change my mind <laughs> about what should go in this cart. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the cart. Oh, and then before I forget, let me show you what else comes with the cart. It comes with two stands that are metal, both this one right here and this one right here. And as you can tell, I have them full, full, full of art supplies and they are fantastic. Now they will fit both of those um, containers will fit on the top drawer of the cart. But for me, I think it makes more sense to utilize them separately. And um, instead of putting them here on the top drawer, but that is an option if that's what you prefer. So um, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some ideas of supply storage and uh, the, again, those bins I got from Ikea, they were less than $3 each. I, I'm wanting to say they were a dollar something each and they're pretty sturdy too because I have them loaded and they're holding up just great. So anyway guys, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Also, please like this video and I would love to receive comments from you guys as well. So have a fabulous day and until next time, bye.